are currently on the uh, Gold River uh, at McCoy's Bridge, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the sites for the uh, long-term intervention monitoring. And I'm looking at the, uh, the physical habitat component of that program for the uh, Victorian Environmental Water Holder and the Commonwealth Environmental Water Holder. I'm looking at uh, the bank condition and I'm looking at, uh, at hydraulic habitat. So that is uh, one's to do with the banks, how much erosion deposition, and one of them is to do with the conditions within the water. So uh, the velocities, the depths, all, the, all those kind of things that might matter to the bugs, the fish, the plants. So the physical habitat is really about how flow delivered by the Commonwealth Environmental Water Holder is translated into particular conditions for the biota. So one aspect of the physical habitat is bank condition, essentially how much erosion and deposition are occurring on the banks and the condition they're in for supporting plants, etc. And the other component is the hydraulic habitat component. So really how flow is translated into the velocities or the depths that might be most important to fish, etc. What we want to do is actually quantify the erosion uh, that is occurring or the deposition that is occurring. And so we're using uh, essentially just bicycle spokes, erosion pins that, that go into these banks by doing that and repeat surveys, we are monitoring the movement of the bank back and forward and relating that back to the flows that are occurring and a whole host of the uh, characteristics of those flows, how big they are, how long they occur for, to really understand what's the relationship between the flow that is delivered and the condition of those banks. So we've gone to the steeper slopes, to the, the slopes that have got less vegetation to understand uh, uh, how they're responding to the management of those flows, particularly how high the flows are, how long they are at a particular level for, and also how quickly we uh, recess those flows. What we see in terms of bank erosion is not necessarily what's actually occurring. So by quantifying with these, with these erosion pins, we're finding that even though a bank might look as though it's eroding, we're finding that it's actually been um, a grading, there's actually a mud drape on it. So it's this constant cycle of erosion deposition that makes a bank look often a bit unstable, but uh, is a natural process within rivers. The other component to the physical habitat monitoring is understanding the, uh, the hydraulic habitat. So that's essentially understanding that when we deliver flows as a discharge down the river, that might not necessarily be what's important to biota, whether it be fish or bugs or plants. It is often the, the characteristics, how that's translated into depths or velocities, um, or even the shear stress, so the, the energy um, mobilising sediments on the bed of the channel. We've used uh, aerial flown um, survey, which gives us the topography. Below the water level it can't see, so we use bathymetry. We get, we get a remote control boat out there to uh, understand that. We join the two together and we create what's called a hydraulic model for that. So we can understand the implications of having a higher discharge for too long. By understanding the relationship between flow and bank condition, we can better manage flow to reduce any of those adverse impacts for biota or for, or, or for landholders.